I'm not sure how long this video is going to take. But we're reading beachfront property today. I haven't wanted to go back to healings because healings is going to take a while. I'll read the introduction because the introduction is very fine. Dear reader, I wrote this book over a period of a year and it's been a long and winding road since then. I struggled over the idea of releasing it because it was a very vulnerable thing, full of heavily emotional pieces that I wasn't sure I was ready to read people to read in full. This book, where I have uh, consistently and constantly laid my soul bare on the page about things I was scared to talk about with people out of fear of what they would say about me. This book is about love. I am in love with David Lynch, and a lot of people talk about what's considered a tainted love because it's unrequited and delusional. I look like a lunatic because I'm a regular person walking around in the world with my own life, and he's a celebrity married with a family half a world away from me. I know how it looks. I have felt the pain of it. I understand how it feels inside of me. I have gone within the past year and tried to understand my feelings. What you see on this page is an internal struggle. It's not even the end of the struggle, it's the beginning and the middle. I hope you understand the reality of it. So why beachfront property? Because the people live in their houses with pretty outsides and have longed to, uh, and I have longed to own a house on the beach for years and years to be part of this, and I will never own this. And the reality is I'm poor in my current circumstances and I can only visit as an outsider. And that the lives of these people who live in these houses is not as good as they make it seem. Most of them are only summer people themselves only staying to spend their vacation time here. Even when I pine away to have a house here in the middle of winter, they are gone to warmer places that aren't in these neighborhoods by the lakeshore. It's all a facade. I've set myself up for failure. What a waste in some respects. That doesn't stop me from feeling hope, from feeling longing. If you've longed for something you can't have, you understand the feeling. You know inherently what I mean. So I drive down and write my poetry in the shadow of these houses with people who can afford such luxuries that aren't meant for someone like me. And I dream on paper. That is my bleeding hope, and these are my dreams. Take care of them, dear reader. They are for yours now. Be gentle with them, like the summer breeze. Much love, Ari Whipple. Part 1. Summer. Twin birds gliding. How could the end begin and the beginning end in a cycle that just repeats? I am, I am, the face that stares, coffee that's chilly now, cold painted metal ladder that nobody ever uses, leading to even lurking murkier water intensity, that look without a cause, that there's lost love, sense of dread, cold, cold, overburdened medical system, People trying their best to live their lives and drive to that very, very edge. I want to scream and have a pedal storm ensue. All magic and majesty come flying at you like birds that go away free now. It's my favorite poem to read, this one. Hot Sauce Baby. Stargazer Dream Baby, stretching spasm yawn. It's early morning, mid-morning. Phone conference call, time sweetheart roll, crunchy wrap sushi, got the soy sauce packet, you know, I've got plenty in the fridge gore, I've got choices for days, but for you, you're my only wasabi, spicy britches, and no, this isn't some kind of sick Asian allegory, fetishism fantasy, geisha goddess, I don't know you except you are my everything. I love that one. <laughs> the being. Eyes open wide. There's a big universe out there picking on the moon, drawing on the high tide. Wade in serene waters and take off that dress, darling. You'll find your way soon enough. You're not who you say you are. You're something else entirely then can be convinced you're high flying fearful of wonderful heights beyond the nature of this human flesh but can find yourself for now come down now come down to the beach come to shore 
Come show us mortals what pure energy is like. The empty beach at the channel. Give life to it. Breathe it in, unsung lungs, and find the honest answer and make me feel a certain way, a calling, like screaming in a wide open hall and expecting the void to answer back, but it never does. I left with the desire to run away, and what is really keeping me here except the breath taking hope, and it'll all play out like I thought in my head. Can I have some more? The blue water, the clear sky, the tender reason why I can feel you ever present nearby in heart, in grace and had God's forsaken place of things clear and unseen. There's hidden and yet understood how close you were in thin pleats, hot and heavy has sent. The words spiraling and nothing fits, the little pockets which sent me into corners crying with emptiness of a child in need of your desire. Soul burn. Spending the whole night trying to stay awake when my soul is asleep, nestled gently under blankets that are so wonderful and so close, yet to some future not quite written, and it gets ignored, just do what it does and spend the time somewhere outside myself, but scare of some moment had not yet had. I love the way you love me, and turn up that radio. I want to listen to myself. Or, I want to listen by myself, but there's nothing between us except heartache and soul burn that threatens to char. <laughs> Turn up that radio. It's a David Lynch song. Desire. How does it work? How will I feel if he came in front of me? How would it work when it all works out? How do I say? What do I do? It's not going to work no matter how much I miss it or how much I desire it. But in reality, the truth is that I'm alone in a locked up tower on the edge of the world. Anticipation. The cat climbs out into the darkness of the apartment and I keep myself in the night light, watching the flickering in the distance and the wind dancing in the midnight storm that rolls through on a journey eastward and around waiting on a message whispered slowly in my heart, Come to me, O God of night. Wrap me in your warm embrace and tell me what I long to hear, and it keeps me in awaited anticipation. You wild thing. Fatal Union Express, there's a wall coming. Bail before you need bail money. Cockeyed smile. I love the way it all goes bang, and that feeling of bend and stretch. It's been too long, say with a sigh. It's a Nick Cage day, a Nick Cage kind of way, and a love song that he sings in a movie that I'm scared to see to a beautiful woman for words too much for life. There's a loving kind of future down the road for me, if I just shake it off the sludge of expectation. I finally watched that movie. It's wild at heart. Come find me, I say, said matter so factly in my jail cell years ago. You'll have to come find me. And I cried and snotted and panicked. And all the pain and suffering that I've endured, I meant it. I did. And so I wait now for a man who does not know to come and find me, to meet me at the place in secret. And people hope for things that didn't happen in real life, even though in deep places I wish because it would make it all so much easier. Hey, lover. I speak of things just beyond my grasp, all the tool, cool tides and happy nights lying in my messy bed, wanting you, really wanting you, each flesh of my flesh down to the very core of my bones. They rattle under my skin, loose and undone, 
They reorganize in a path to light your way back to me. Come find me, I say in a cell. Come find me in my mother's house, drugged. Come find me now that I, I'm by myself. There's only so much I can take. Oh, okay. Sweet nothings in my ear. That stranger, the one whose laugh is like the bitter end of a rope that holds up a wind chime that gently sways in the afternoon breeze. On the patio, serving all the delights of refreshments, cookies and cakes and lemonade, and maybe fresh coffee too, and oh, stranger, I want you there, you're in my head. And that song plays again, and I'm a mad dog with an earworm. Sit in the silence and let the reality take place, because there's nothing that fits in this old soul, stranger, mysterious stranger come sit and whisper sweet nothings in my ear pure moments a dog barks a child laughs a man walks by on his way to work the trees flutter alive and well in the summer breeze <sighs> i sigh taking it all in cool metal on my legs Rustling leaves, the sound of popping from my drink, pen to paper scratching. I am dry in the briefest of times. Here now, will it work? I take it all in, the full spectacle, taking with my own devices, my own longings and the short of it, the roamings of the mind as it tries to fill up with snapshots of pure moments like these. Manifest your reality, and it shall be yours. I say the words and their meanings. The words are kind and firm and caring and come from a place that wants truth, a call out of heart. It cuts to the quick and says the words meant to hear. It says, yes, you, yes, you, you need a yes, you need it to happen. And my darling, it really will. Fuck around and find out. I want to take off like a rocket. I have a million ideas and more bustling through my mind, and I could spend time on it if I really wanted to. I'm going to make a mess. I'm going to create something beautiful. I'm going to be magical. The world is going to turn in a way in which it moves, will change, because I did something different today. It's always good to alter your path, try something new, to see if it works, because it's better to try and find out than to never know the truth. I feel tired, but I will press on, because science. The world turns, and I turn with it. The trees are drifting gently in this muggy heat. Stay indoors, work on a project. It suits you tonight. Crack your bones until you relieve the stress. It's all all right. At least it seems to be. Put something on that you can dance in. The silence is killing me. The numbers. Seeing the numbers everywhere and being unable to talk about it because signs are bad when you have a mental illness, which could be anything at all, but the universe says that signs and synchronicities aren't a bad, are not a bad thing but a sign that I'm alive and it means something good is coming my way on wings that spread out like those trees I saw and I'll get there wherever that means I'm going. Ah me, yes my love, true love won't love rest the day, rest on the day of love and tenderness, gift and joy, give me this truth of eternal salvation of your love Yes, your love, I gift it, yes. Please be near me, please be the joy in my heart, yes. Please be the solidarity that breaks through the solitude. Please be the thing that gathers, please be the one that comes and gains. Please be there when I am done, when suffering is at great heights, when I need you and simply cannot breathe. The story of the two. Hangnail, thumbnail, thumb drive, 
music that says exactly how I feel, add the music to the mix, drink it up and get smaller or bigger depending on the bottle, but I've been sober, there's an epidemic of reason, there's a spread of something soon, and it'll tell the story of how the rider hot here on top of his horse, it'll tell the story of the shield maiden and how she won in due course. What I miss about you most, touching lips while sitting in the bath and feeling you watching. I felt this way before it was at night when I want you most, which says more about desire, but something about love when the heart ruptures from need of you to be here. Won't you please listen to me when I'm far away and call out for you, how it feels when I see you for the first time or the next time or some other time, I don't know what's real, except for when I feel some other dimension, some other memory, lost and lost, and how I want it again. What a life this is. Okay, hang on.